So Russia continues its uh, terror attack against the civil infrastructure, against energy system of Ukraine, and uh, Russia is waging its genocidal war against uh, Ukraine. Uh, the West is still cautious uh, regarding uh, giving the permission to use their weapons inside Russia, and uh, people are tired. Uh, people uh, want to see the clear vision of Ukraine's victory from Ukrainian government. At the same time, uh, civil society organizations are active in the advocacy, and uh, we are here at the Globsec Forum, and uh, there are a lot of uh, representatives of Ukrainian civil society who talk with uh, NATO officials, with the EU officials, and uh, uh, we have like three, seven hours uh, electricity in Ukrainian cities. And uh, we can say that we have some type of blackouts because Russia, why Russia is destroying Ukraine's energy infrastructure? They want to have uh, such public opinion inside Ukraine towards negotiations. Like, let's make uh, any uh, peace deal, any peace agreement, and they will be better than having uh, blackouts on a daily basis. But, uh, but it's false logic of Russia. And uh, we still have a big problem in explaining why Russia is a threat not only for Ukraine, uh, Moldova, Georgia, uh, Eastern Partnership countries, but also for NATO EU countries and the Western Balkans as well. And uh, Russian propaganda is very active in the Balkan countries, and uh, we can talk about um, Telegram channels in Serbia, we can talk about the impact of Orthodox Church in Montenegro, in Serbia, in Bulgaria. So it's not gone, and uh, we see that uh, the lack of political will in uh, Brussels, in Washington, in the Western capitals in order to eliminate the Russian threat. Uh, Ukrainians uh, are fighting for Europe's uh, freedom, but you know, as all people, we are getting tired and uh, uh, people are moving uh, from Ukraine to other countries and they start their new life uh, there. One of the biggest narratives is about mobilization. Uh, Russian and pro-Russian Telegram channels, uh, they are publishing uh, videos uh, with uh, uh, forceful, forceful mobilization of Ukrainians by Ukrainian armed forces. And uh, they portray it as, uh, as a bad, uh, in a bad manner. So their main goal is to undermine this mobilization efforts and uh, at the same time uh, to say that uh, they will bring uh, Ukraine back to Paleolite times, like without any facilities, electricity, gas, water. So, and they are very, you know, Russians are very honest in their intentions towards Ukrainians. They write it very openly in the comment section of Telegram channels. And uh, right now we have a big discussion what to do with Telegram and Ukrainian officials uh, want to make, it, uh, uh, to make it illegal to have an official uh, channels of communications on, on Telegram uh, and at the same time maybe to ban Telegram in Ukraine because Telegram is actually the main uh, source of Russian disinformation in Ukraine, but not only Ukraine. There are Telegram channels uh, in Spanish language, uh, uh, and also there are Telegram channels in Poland. Uh, Telegram is popular in the Balkan countries. So, uh, you know, Russian propaganda has its traditional um, uh, narratives, like Ukrainians are allegedly neo-Nazi, uh, Ukrainians uh, are still in gas uh, uh, 
uh, from Europe, uh, but uh, Russians are adapting their propaganda and their main goal remains the same, is to divide uh, European societies, is to uh, exaggerate uh, divisions uh, about migration, about uh, the support of Ukraine, about other uh, topics of discussion inside the European countries and uh, not all Ukrainians are aware of this disinformation threat because Telegram is uh, highly popular in Ukraine and more than 60% of Ukrainians they get the news from Telegram.